In this tutorial, we'll see how to add a slider together with a nav bar in Bootstrap 5. Okay, so I have a nav bar here with a carousel slider. I've actually just taken this from my crash course on Bootstrap in which I'm actually building a complete page from scratch with Bootstrap 5. So definitely check that out if you wanna see more about that. So it's actually quite straightforward. You just add a nav bar. Now, I don't recommend coding this from scratch because you're not gonna remember all of these classes, right? These more complicated components like a nav bar and carousel, they're usually quite complicated. They have a lot of different classes. Their HTML structure is quite chaotic, as you can see. So no point in trying to code this from scratch. Just copy one of their examples and modify it to get exactly what you want. So that's what I did here. I'm actually just gonna copy the nav bar here from my example here. There's nothing crazy going on. Um, you can just copy it from the documentation and modify it a little bit and this is what I get. So what did I change here? I added BG dark which will actually give it the dark background color and I also added navbar dark which will actually make the text in the navbar light. A little bit counterintuitive perhaps. I also changed the container fluid class that you often see in their examples to simply container. This restricts the width a little bit more right so it's not going to sit against the edge of the viewport. I also changed this breakpoint of the navbar to SM instead of large so that um, only on very small devices is it going to be um, collapsed like this and it's going to expand pretty quickly, right? And I also right aligned these links. You can do that with MS Auto, right? So we don't have margin left auto, right? It's going to be margin start auto. Um, this is new in Bootstrap 5. And then for the right side, you have margin end. Okay, so then we would add a carousel. So you would go here and you would just copy one of their examples. Now with carousels, so here we have... Um, uh, we have these indicators, right? We have these buttons, so they show you or controls as they call it, and that the text are actually captions, right? So they show you examples for each of them, right? How to include um, everything. So this is a more complicated one. This is what we have. So you can just copy all of this. You can see it's quite a bit of work, um, but I'm just going to copy it and I'll show you uh, some of the things I did here. Let me collapse this HTML. Okay, so then I'm getting this and it's a little bit... Um, tall here, right? It's a little bit too, it's taking up too much height here. And that's because there, we actually need to add some custom styles. So this is important to know about carousels is in the default uh, examples, they do not restrict the height of the images, for example, right? So if you're including images, some of the images can, are going to be very large, right? So you can see it's too big. Um, so you're going to have to restrict those images yourself. So I have given the items in which the images are sitting I've given them a custom class, right? So just C item for custom. I've given them a certain height and then the images that are the child elements, I've set the height to 100% of them, right? So it's going to be 100% of the parent for 80 pixels. When you're working with height and widths of images, it's a good practice to use object fit cover because images can look distorted, right? Because you're, you're sort of changing the uh, aspect ratio or the, the area is going to be a different aspect ratio than the, the intrinsic image. I've also made them a little bit darker. So when I do this, it looks better, right? And this is what we have now, right? So it's really important that you have mastered CSS and JavaScript, really the underlying fundamentals as well. I have courses on them. Definitely check them out if you want to take your, if you want to take those skills to an advanced professional level. The links are in the description, right? So with this carousel, um, let's see. They have indicators, right? Those are these things at the bottom. They look pretty cool always, I think. Then um, in the inner class here is where we have the, the the actual slides, right? So here we have like three slides. So each slide is actually called item, right? And then and in the item, each one also has a caption, right? And then at the bottom, I have these before the next and the previous button. Those are these things. And right? so these things are just captions. Now in the crash course, I also have a modal, right? So here um, it doesn't work because I don't have a modal, but there's more fancy stuff going on there in the crash course video. So definitely check out that one. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.